Welcome to one of the most anticipated days on the cycling calendar. It's an event which has gone on to become the symbol of a region and of a people who love cycling more than anybody. The Ronde van Vlaanderen, the Tour of Flanders to you and I, a real festival of the bicycle. Everybody prepared for the pavé then? The one day race first run in 1913 when Paul Demand won after 330 kilometers. Today, 264, starting in a very, very relaxed mood. The calm before the storm. And this is what the Tour of Flanders looks like in 2015. It's an interesting route, 264 kilometers in all. Bruges to Oldenaarde, two climbs return, an additional five kilometers added to this year's route. The first 200 kilometers telling us who is in or out of the race. The old Aquadamont climbed for two of three times today. Paterberg, and then of course Steinbeck and Dries Steinbeck, Kreisberg with a final lap of those two Hellingen Hills, 264 kilometers to 2015. Tour of Flanders all decided towards the end. Oh no! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's no good at all. Ooh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. La Française des Jeux with an absolute nightmare. That's their team car that's been hit again by a car behind. Is that another neutral service car? It is another neutral service car. Front, that's the car in question. Dear me. That doesn't look too oh good. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's hope that that doesn't come down in time. Peloton's got to get under there quickly. Oh, we've had everything today affecting the race that didn't need to do. We've had neutral service cars and we've now got one of the big sponsors' banners being held up just above the peloton. Oh, it's a nightmare for the organisers today. Desperate to try and hold it up as everybody comes through. On the Kreuzberg. Look at Stiebar, looking good. Yeah, looking very good. Christoph as well, though, just riding around near the back there, just keeping out of everyone's mind, really. Not showing that he's still there and... Uh, or at least showing that he's still going strong. And here comes Terup, so that's going to drag everyone along. Christoph knows that, and Christoph is trying to stay on the wheel. Here comes Alexander Christoph. Terup is going to lead the 99th Ronde van Vlaanderen and over the top of the Quadramont for the final time, and only the Paterberg remains. Oh, the flags, the frites, the beer, the people, they're all here. It's Paterberg time, and Terup Terupstra can't hold the wheel. Look at this! It's Christoph, if anything, who's stronger than Terepsa. This is incredible at the top. Yeah, it definitely is. As uh, Greg van Avermaet is putting in a big move on the Pattersburg as well, and uh, Stenix Stebo is managing to follow. Garen Thomas is really having to dig deep, having done so much work on the old equipment. Oh my, oh my, oh my, Terepstra, unless he goes pretty much now, he's trusting his sprint against that of Alexander Christoph. This is incredible. You see everything in the Ronde van Vlaanderen, and we certainly are seeing everything here. Christoph is playing this one. Watch out, though. Well, Van Avermaet is going for a long one. Tedefra waits on the wheel. Tedefra waits on the wheel as Van Avermaet goes and looks to turn it on. Sagan, I don't think, has any energy left to put anything no, in. He's, Sagan is not going to finish on the podium whatsoever. Six and a half hours almost as Christoph waits. It's going to be a very, very late sprint for the line. Whoever chooses to go, it is going to be Tedefra who waits on the wheel. How long are they waiting? Here goes Tedefra. It's all out sprint now for the Tour of Flanders. Tedefra against Christoph. Christoph hits the front. Christoph on the front, surely Telepta can't do it. It's going to be Alexander Christoph, a first ever Norwegian winner of the Ronde van Vlaanderen. It's his second monument. Christoph does it. An absolute powerhouse after doing most of the work in the final 5Ks. Telepta had nothing left. He never even hit the front. Christoph straight alongside him, and that is a wonderful, wonderful win from the strongest rider on the road at the minute. Yeah, so Nicky went, and I know he's one of the most dangerous guys from Ethics, and uh, and uh, yeah, I followed, and I was also with him last year, and uh, we worked good together last year for the fifth place, and uh, this year we was working for the first place, so it was even more fun to th this year. Alexander Christoph wins Tour de Flanders 2015 with Nicky Terpstra in second, Greg Van Avram at third, with Peter Sagan fourth, Benoit in fifth place, what a ride from him. Bohm sixth, Degenkolb seventh with Rulantz, Stiba and Elmiger finishing in the top ten. Ten top riders, a really good day, and the winner, Alexander Christoph. The 14th Sunday of the year, and it's that time again. For the 100th time at the start of the day, Market Square in Bruges was packed with fans. This is the race of the people, 
we speak to you from the line here in Aldenarde. It's the 100th Ronde van Vlaanderen. Now, we haven't had a world champion winning in the rainbow jersey for 10 years. Tom Bonin, the last man. Sagan hoping to become the latest. Geraint Thomas, winner of Paris-Nice. This man won the big one last year. Alexander Christoph from Stavanger. And the final time at the Ronde van Vlaanderen, Fabian Cancellara. The three-time winner, hoping to become the most successful man in the race's history. Oh, de Quaramont, this is where the Tour of Flanders proper starts. Oh, and we've had a crash. crash. We've had a couple of riders down. Geraint Thomas. From Sky, you have Geraint Thomas. You have a rider Tom from France this year. Tom Bonin is back on his bike. It looks as that could be Arnold de Mar. Daira Quintana is down. And that is indeed yeah. Arnold de Mar. And he looks a right old mess, I'm afraid. Sagan right at the back here. Now, what's happened to Peter Sagan? You can only think he's had a mechanical or gone back to the car and something. To them in the Volker Hammers, we had another crash. Oh, and we've plenty of riders down. Yeah. Side, I can't see the world yes. champions jersey yes, is right just... towards the back. And we saw him moving up, didn't we? Yeah. Just at the right time, his teammates nowhere to be seen. It's the first time we've had any sort of sense of calm for quite a while. <laughs> well, I'm happy that you're calm. I don't think the riders are too calm just now. <coughs> Not a oh, big crash. Oh no! Not again! And we've half the BMC team taken out. And the rider lying down. Is Van Avermaet. Is Greg Van Avermaet. No. 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 Last bone leading them up. Cancellara there, second wheel. Riding very smoothly indeed. Bone not easily. going too badly. There is Sagan as well. And we've got riders walking. This is exactly what we thought might happen today. Oh, bikes on the shoulders. This is the classic <laughs> Koppenberg image, isn't it? It is. I think if you're is. having to do this. And Sagan is on to a move here by Kwiatkowski. That surprised everybody. Sagan driving them on. Ooh. Oh, what an attack from Fabian Cancellara. We were 22 seconds of a gap going into this climb. Cancellara going straight past riders. He's aiming for the front now, and now has Peter Sagan in his sights. Sagan, the world champion, just as you wanted it to be. And the retiring Fabian Cancellara chasing him. And Peter Sagan is finding energy from deep, deep down underneath that world championship jersey. 18 oh, seconds for Peter Sagan. It's not shifting, it's not budging. Peter Sagan is going to do it. It's the 100th edition. He's there. The rainbow jersey on show. Peter Sagan makes it a fairy tale edition of the Ronde van Vlaanderen. And after six hours, ten minutes, that is quite a show for the greatest showman that cycling has in the modern era. Sagan wins from Cancellara and from Marca, who complete the podium. Christoph in fourth last year's winner with a, a strong enough race. Peter Sagan! Peter Sagan! World champion, winner of the Ronde van Vlaanderen. Handshake, hug, class on and off the bike. And for the perfect race, celebrating its special day, we have the perfect winner. It's the 14th Sunday of the year, and in Flanders, that can only mean one thing. Bikes, racing, cobbles and hills. It's time for the 101st Ronde van Vlaanderen. And it's going to be really interesting to see how this develops. Is it going to be a little ceremonial passage for Tom Boner? Or is he really putting the pace down to try and put people in trouble? And Boner is taking Christoph with him. I think that's Moscon on the left-hand side. And he's putting riders in the hurt locker. And now is this a move? This is a good move. Very and look, dangerous. And quick step suddenly from having no bodies there, have three bodies there. They have Gilbert, they have Trentin, they have Boner. Both Roe and Moscon are in danger of just being distanced in the wheels there. Gilbert is doing the damage. Sorry, Rob. Gilbert, oh. it is. This is developing very, very well into a long range move for quick step floors. Well, this is what the crowd wanted. It's the Belgian champion on one of the iconic Belgian hills. Monte Cucubo wanted to get in on the act. Oh, mechanical problem for Bonin. Mechanical problem for Bonin just before the Tyenberg. No, oh, no, 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 no. Bonin before the Tyenberg suffering a mechanical problem. And this is not the way he wanted to say goodbye to the Ronde van Vlaanderen oh, on his own hill. He's got chain stuck. It's the chain, the bottom of the chain has got himself stuck. Tom Bonin up Sagan the Bonenberg. Sagan attacking in the meantime. Sagan is making his move. It had to come sometime. This is the last bearing and Sagan trying to accelerate. 
Sagan is trying to accelerate on the... Yep, this is a real movement. This is a real movement from Sagan, and this is the danger point. He's got two bikes up ahead of him. He's seen that. And Sagan is there with Van Avermaet coming with him. Narsen on the wheel as well. Van Baal on the left-hand side in the green. He's struggling to hold the wheel. Yep, Van Baal is... Oh! oh! Sagan is down! No! Sagan is down! Taken Van Avermaet with him. Narsen's there, and that could be it. That could be it for Gilbert. Narsen is down injured. Sagan's out of the race. Goodbye to Van Avermaet as well. Drama on the old Aquaramont. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Philippe Gilbert the winner of the Ronde van Vlaanderen 2017 and in some style. One of the most aggressive, enjoyable and dramatic races in the history of this race in recent years. Gilbert raises his bike over the line. And the winner of the Ronde van Vlaanderen 2017, Rob Hales, that is quite some ride. And we'll sum it up in just a moment because it's Quickstep looking for a 1-2 at the minute with Terramstra trying to ride in. He's sat on for the last few kilometres. Does he have it in the sprint? Or can Van Avermaet come around and get second? Van Avermaet on the right hand side up against Terramstra. But Terramstra is the fresher of the two. I think it's going to be Van Avermaet, Terramstra and Van Baalen. Tour of Flanders 2017 ended up with two Belgians on the podium and a Belgian winner for the first time since 2012, Anton Bonner. Philippe Gilbert, first Wallon winner of this race since Claude Criquillon 30 years ago. It's on television all over the world, a modern peloton here with modern race tactics and a quick step team versus the world. Who's going to unseat them today? It's the Ronde van Vlaanderen, the 102nd edition, and it's just left Antwerp. There oh, we go. Had it. First crash of this Ronde van Vlaanderen, I'm afraid. It's a rider from BMC. Now let's look around because, of course, BMC have the pre-race favourite. Oh, Sepp von Marke is involved. Sepp von Marke, thankfully, looks all right. He's checking his mechanical stuff. And here we go. On to the Alde Quarmont we go. And listen to this. The Ronde van Vlaanderen is alive. And we're entering the last 145 kilometers. It's race time. He himself. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Loads of riders down, and Oliver Narsen's one of them. Arnold de Maar looked as though he might have been the first to go there. Steen de Vold is involved as well. Narsen cannot believe it. Ivan Garcia Cortina, the man to crown the mood in the 102nd edition of the Ronde van Vlaanderen. The fans are there, that religious, holy cycling imagery on Easter Sunday. It's Garcia and De Vriend in the meantime for the men's race. 70 kilometers to go. Peloton at one minute and six. Happy to let them dangle out for a while, maybe. And that positioning well, the battle was won oh, by the back. We've got a crash at the back. We've got riders at the back. Oh no. Oh, it's Docker. Mitch Docker. And he's in the barbed wire. Oh no. Counter attack happening from behind. It looks as though Pollitt has been caught. And look at Lumpart here. Lumpart on the front of the bunch, and we're getting some movement. Lumpart is there, he's being followed by from Marker. Sturven and. Uh, it's the only quick step Dimple. rider there. Where well, are quick they're step? a long way down here, the quick step riders. Ooh, that led on sky. by Sky and look at Kwiatkowski. Kwiatkowski is going to take it up. Stan von den Berg is chasing. Heinrich Hauser was there as well. In the middle you had Vincenzo Nibali and here's Gilbert just making it back on at the right time. Look at Nicky Terpstra. Look at Nicky Terpstra is making his move. Nicky Terpstra is making his move and nobody's able to follow him just yet. Nibali is going. Nibali so is going. Nibali. It carries on. They've done their recon, they know what happens. Nibali into the right position, and who's going to chase him? Oh, Nibali can't hold it. Terepstra, an absolute machine. Nicky Terepstra takes off, and this is a move to watch. Terepstra is about to reach them. He's not going to sit and wait, Nicky he's going to go straight past. zoom straight past them on the Art of Guadamont. He budges them out the way. Nicky Terpstra, who won every place, is about to light this race up, and the fans know that now. And Nicky Terpstra looks as though he's about to have company. It's the comeback kid, 22 years of age. Mads Pedersen comes out of nowhere, and he's suddenly a force to be reckoned with again. 
six hours, 21 minutes of racing, and it all comes down to this outside of Ardenada. It's been a quick step game of pure dominance again. Afterloft, and for the first time in 32 years, a Dutchman wins the Ronde van Vlaanderen. Quick step, 21 wins, and tenth to the man to do it. And look at this behind, second for Lance Pedersen at 22 years of age. And the defending champion makes the podium. Quick step, what a job. Gilbert third, Vargrim fourth, and it's going to be Greg Van Armaat once again to miss out on the Ronde van Vlaanderen. But a once more finish in the top five. Mats Pedersen in second, Philippe Gilbert competing the podium with Wagram fourth, Van Avermaet fifth, another placing for him. Sagan, Sturven, Benoit, Van Aert and Stibar. This is what they're going to take on today. It's the 14th Sunday of the year, beginning in Antwerp, 267 kilometers. Antwerp to Aldenarde, right in the heart of the Flemish Ardennes. There's the usual wearing down process through the likes of Erpemere and Sotekem. Once they get into the Flemish Ardennes, they hit the Alde Quaramont for the first time. The race begins there, the first of 17 Hellingen or hills, many of them cobbled, an extra five cobbled sectors in for good measure, with that final Quaramont and Paterberg combination deciding the race before the final 13 kilometers on the flat and into the wind to Aldenarde. It's 267 kilometers. It is the Ronde van Vlaanderen 2019. Four riders now as uh, Jesper Asselman has joined them. Dutch rider, we have a Frenchman, a Belgian, a Dutchman, and a Canadian, and there's quite a bit of spare road behind them. We're going with Trek on board, it sounds like. The breakaway are on to the first cobbled sector of the day. The first of five flat cobbled sectors, it's the Lippenhoverstraat. 183 kilometers to go as they hit it, and the Ronde van Vlaanderen's first obstacle of the day is underway. So, to the top of the Quaramont they go. The Grote Press Stigbrooks won by Hugo Uhl. So, 5,000 euros to the charity of the Canadian's choice. And here's a reminder of who's in the break. If you're tuning in late, it's Hugo Uhl, Jesper Asselman, Damien Touzé, and Kenneth Van Broy. Uhl, Asselman, Touzé, and Van Broy still remain in front in the Ronde van Vlaanderen, but they have only one minute and eight seconds now. And then everybody's back involved as we get confirmation that it is Oliveira, Lampard, Breschel and Pustelberger. One minute and five to the peloton. Three riders up the front and there was a little bit of a standoff. The trouble is three riders, three teams represented. Bettiol on the last little rise at the top of the Quadrament. The 2.2 kilometers of it almost over here. After this, it's a left turn. Again on that road that poses a few difficulties unless you're in a group able to road together. Get your breath back because there is more to come. Alberto Bettiol of EF Education first. The Italian at the head of the race. The Italian who is 25 years of age and has never won a bike race as a professional. He's in his favorite color, pink. He wanted to ride for a team that rode in the color of the leader's jersey of the Giro d'Italia. He's a very, very proud Italian. He is going to be an Italian winner, I think, of the Ronde van Vlaanderen. Behind, he has Kaspar Askren chasing him. He has the bunch there as well, but he's coming up into the final 500 meters. And this is a performance to get excited about for EF Education first and for Alberto Bettiol. What a day, what a race. It's had drama, it's had falls. It's had tactical masterclass, not least from the team that is going to come and win the race here. Behind, they still close, but I don't think they are going to get anywhere near the winner. This is Alberto Petiol here, riding away in front of the legions of fans, about to make himself a legend. From nowhere to being a contender, to having a bad year, he's back again at the team that loves him the most. And his first ever win amongst the professionals is going to be the mighty Ronda EF Education first. Top 10 in the 2019 Ronde van Vlaanderen. Alberto Bettiol wins his first ever bike race as a professional. Kaspar Askren finishes an astounding second.
I was in uh, Quaremot, feel uh, really good. Uh, Andreas from the car, he just said, uh, if you can, you just go. I closed the eyes and I just went. I, I looked down in the top, I, I had a, a really good gap. And from the car, Andreas just said, uh, keep on pushing, keep on pushing. And on the Paderberg, I think I didn't lose uh, a lot. And then uh, it, there were the 14K longest of my life. <laughs> uh, I knew uh, Sebastian was there uh, protecting me and Sepp did, uh, guys, Sepp did an amazing job. A champion like him, uh, uh, he worked for us all day, it's just crazy. All the guys, uh, Matt, Sasha, Tom, uh, Taylor, uh, everybody, everybody. I think EF is in the front and we can win also Ronde van Vlaanderen. We are a really good team. And uh, from now on, uh, you should uh, look more in the pink in the front.